to summarize what you're you're seeing as the most important challenge is to re-engage your students, to build relationship with your students, to to make it visible who is there to support them and to make the transitions and the bureaucracy across your campus easily accessible to students so that they understand where they need to go for help, especially after a few years of being less engaged with, with your institution. That is correct. And, and then we, you right now in the fall of 2022, you want to have uh, in your undergraduate student population, for example, we're going to have seniors that I guess were freshmen or sophomores when the pandemic started. We're going to have uh, juniors uh, that were in high school when the pandemic started. You're going to have sophomores that did their last, the, their last school year in high school virtually. And, and, now, and then now we're going to have a freshman class that were affected by the pandemic right in the middle of the high school years. So reconnecting with these students um, is going to be key, you know, because if we want to if we want to increase our retention, if we want to increase our graduation rates, that's going to be critical because they they went through a year or perhaps two years of of, of non traditional instruction, and 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 we, we don't know how much they lost, and we, we need to make sure that we know how much they lost, and we need to know and we need to 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 make sure to bring it up to speed with 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 our expectations. And one of the important things I believe in order for us to do that is to remove the transaction out of our daily routines. So if we're going to have to focus on the students more, we need to remove as much transactional work, uh, for example, in an advising session. So if you put any advising session in, in, in um, any 60 minute advising session, let's say, we would begin describing what happens in an advising session with the student. If you're spending 45%, I'm sorry, 40, 45 minutes of the 60 minute advising session in trying to figure out a schedule, you know, you're investing 75% of, of the advising session in something that is not meaningful to the student because if you finish, if you have to finish in one hour because you already have the next student coming, then you're only going to allow 15, 15, 15 minutes to look at the, what I call the human side of advising, you know, that interaction, that direct interaction with, with a student. So how do you shift that? You know, so how, how can you spend 45 minutes talking to the student and only, let's say, 15 minutes doing the transaction side of advising, which is figuring out a schedule based on the student needs, based on the student wants, based on, on whether they have a practice or whether they work or whether they have to commute from the other side of town or, you know, those sort of things. So so we, we do have uh, one, one of, of, of the tools from, from Civitas, which is a scheduler that has allowed us to do that, that has allowed us to change uh, the transaction side of advising into more human side of advising. Because I, I know you're in the software business, but it doesn't matter what you tell me, there's not a single software out there that can identify if the student is struggling at home, if, 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 if you know, they're going, if, if the family is going through something, uh, if, if they lost a member of the family due to whatever reason, if, if they're having uh, economic struggles, uh, I don't know. The, Nobody can understand. There's no system that can tell you that. It's going to have to be the human eye, the human intuition that perhaps can identify these factors and how these factors are affecting the student. Uh, and it is important. If, if, we want to, if we want to reconnect with our students, we need to make sure that we uh, work more efficiently. And, and by that, I, I think uh, removing the transactional side, the, the, all these transactions that are routine i guess and and that just takes time let let a computer figure that out because the, com the computer won't be able to figure out the human side of advising so making that shift uh i think is important and i think it's going to create a lot of differences uh, uh and, and good opportunities for our students in the future 